Hello and welcome to a quick video and overview of these things here. These are the Isheen VR004 box goggles. Now I've looked at lots of goggles recently and lots of them have been the binocular style and been relatively expensive. But actually box goggles can give you an awful lot of bang for the book. Check out my other reviews of my favourites, uh, things like the Quantum Cyclops Diversity I'm a massive fan of and also the Fat Shark uh, Recon and Scout, which are both great models. So it's nice to see new goggles like this coming onto the market. Particularly as this one has a little trick up its sleeve, you can actually remove the screen at the end. I'm trying to do it, hang on, let me do it the right way around. That's better. Uh, so the screen comes off. So you could use this, uh, make a mount for it. It hasn't got a um, quarter inch bolt at the bottom, but you could make a mount for it uh, to go on your radio or whatever and it uh, it works in exactly the same way as uh, some other things so you just kind of press the power button up it comes has an inbuilt battery you can charge the battery battery runs according to the website a couple of hours uh, mine's giving up about an hour and a half but um you know screen works absolutely lovely so you can have it on your bench for setup and then we want to go out and fly clip it into the end and away you go. Now I was interested in getting these in and having a, a play with them. Two things really. One, uh, because they are so cheap and cheerful. But also the other screen that I've had in here, uh, this is something called the Mon Eagle. Again, it's another Yusheen product. Uh, again, works in a very similar way. Press and hold the power button, comes up, says Yusheen. And in fact, the display looks almost identical with the top showing you uh, all the important information, band frequency and all that jazz. So I thought, I wonder if all they've done is just put a Mon Eagle on the back of the goggles. Now, this Mon Eagle is a relatively weighty unit um, and it comes in the box with all the adapters so you can pop it on your radio. But actually, no, I'm very pleased to say that they haven't done that at all. It's a completely different screen. It's actually a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter. So let me go through the unboxing. I'll show you what comes in the box and talk a little bit about it and then go through my summary at the end. So the box it comes in is pretty basic. The specs are written on the back. It's a 40 channel receiver with, a, they say dual antennas. I'm not sure if this is full diversity or just antenna diversity, but for flying something like a whoop or flying close in or just giving somebody a set of ride along goggles, these seem to work nicely. Again, listing is for two hours of battery life. I'm not quite getting that with the battery in these, but maybe it needs to go through a couple of cycles to reach maximum power. Uh, nice plastics, not too bad at all. A little bit cheap feeling, but not as bad as I expected. All the controls are on the side, both the power, the band, the frequency, and also the DVR. Yep, DVR here. So there's a slot on the other side for the card, and there's also the USB port as well. And then, um the screen pops off i would have liked a slightly nicer way to get the screen on and off uh, the clips i'm always worried about me being a little bit too uh, aggressive in snapping them simple single lens uh, unadjustable uh, i'll talk about how easy it is to focus on in a minute and how i've actually found it but there's not an awful lot in terms of the goggles to kind of look at in the bag of separate bits then there is a power cable, there's kind of an auxiliary cable, USB cable and a couple of antennas. Now the power cable to actually charge the panel back up is connecting via the USB port. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like passing lots of current through USB ports. Uh, it would have been easy for them to add another one on there. And then it's RPSMA connectors for the two antennas. These rubber ducky ones would be fine if you're going to use it for something like whoop flying. Although, of course, if you're going to fly further away, invest in something a little bit better. Screen resolution on these is only 800 by 480, but as most analog FPV is going to be 640 by 480, it displays it quite nice. 500 looks on this screen, so in the brightest weather outside, you'll struggle to see this panel where it's a thousand looks on something like the Mon Eagle. This is kind of more designed to be used as an FPV screen. But when you have it inside the goggles, it's very, very easy to see exactly what's going on, and it's kind of easy to focus on. Uh, and the display is really nice and crisp and clear. Now, I need glasses for close-up work, 
getting to that point in my life. So I need a 1.25, 1.5 set of glasses when I'm uh, looking at things close. I can just about focus on the screen comfortably. I would expect that if you need stronger prescription for close-up work, if you're a little bit older like me, then you might struggle to focus on these. And maybe some of those other versions that I've talked about would be a better bet. Sadly, they're not wide enough to fit your um, your glasses in. So if you do need to wear glasses for sight correction, gosh, they need cleaning, don't they? Then uh, these probably aren't going to be the ones for you. However, if you have a, a sight issue like stigmatism or something like that, where binocular goggles don't work, then these are just fantastic. Last thing I'll talk about is the fit. The fit is not terrible. Um, the fit is pretty good. The only thing with me is that the, the, the it's a very, very wide nose relief. Uh, the depth is good. It actually fits Westerners' faces, uh, but you're going to need a little bit of foam there to stop all the light leaks. So if you are looking for a set of ride-along goggles or you may be passing on a piece of equipment and want to hand them over, or you were interested in maybe thinking about some kind of uh, bench screen after I talked about them in my festive present ideas, then these are two that's uh, definitely worth a look. I do like the fact that we can get this kind of technology for this kind of money. It definitely isn't the best set of goggles. And if you can afford more for your set of goggles, I'd definitely pay more. But if this is all the money that you've got, then this is worth a look. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.